once again, people, and welcome to yet another Seeking Shamblers episode. Um, yeah, where we're just continuing to check out random deathmatch levels for the reason of, well, I'm not really sure. It's just, you know, random deathmatch levels. Sure, why not? Anyway, this time around, we're going to be checking out something called Night Stalker Deathmatch, which is spelled with a lot of weird capital letters, which makes it really look rather tacky and horrible looking. Why in God's name people can't just name levels properly is beyond me. Yeah, it, it seems like as a general rule of thumb, nobody can name a deathmatch level properly. In fact, they can't name levels in general properly, so you end up with really tacky, horrible names. It, yeah, it, it's like, really when it comes down to it, Q2 had some of the best naming schemes ever, which is pretty sad. Out of anything Q2 had, they had like the perfect names. You know, I would rather be playing something called Caligus Minaret than something called Night Stalker Deathmatch, um, with capital letters and lowercase letters everywhere. Um, yeah, it's basically a kick butt multiplayer anti camper level. So, yeah, it's a pretty simple one. There's not much really to um, the messages or whatnot. Um, it's made by underscore psychic on internet. It, it's very obscure, apparently. <laughs> um, <coughs> as is to be expected at this point, we're just digging through a lot of random ones. Um, so, yeah, it, it's really just a very simple one. Not, nothing really that spectacular. Um, name-wise. So let's load this thing up, see what exactly we got here. It's just another file to add to the random files of stuff that involves files. Files, people! I think it's night. And we just picked up a super nail gun, and oh my god, there are teleporters everywhere! Lots of visual issues and a weird teleporter sky. What in god's name is this about? Yeah, it's like the... Teleporter walls make up the world. Okay, that that's different. I don't think I've ever seen something like that. There we are, Night Stalker Deathmatch. Um, so yeah, we got the Super Nero Gun here, and we got a lot of structures. A lot of different platforms and chaos. So let's check out the lower floor, make sure there's nothing else down here. We already saw there was a Super Nero Gun. Looks like a lot of in-base textures as well. This might be like an in-base level. Um, because I'm seeing, like I said, a lot of different, like, in-base structure look at textures. Mostly because that's the technical stuff, but yeah, it's like, the stuff that isn't is, like, stuff that's like... This is the underground, underwater texture here. So yeah, it's really obscure, the stuff he's using. It's like, really weird textures. Which is rather nice, because it makes it stand out a bit more. Um, so yeah, you have different types of ammo, as you see all around here. Nothing really that spectacular, but... Ammo! Set where we don't die, and when we're face off against nothing, because this is a level with nothing in it. This is a level with nothing, people! I, I hope you like this level with nothing. It's obviously nothing. It, is that spectacular? Totally. It's spectacular because it has nothing. Okay, so let's see here. You just wander around the most There doesn't seem to be much here at all. Yeah, this is really unexciting, isn't it? Um, I guess we're going to go into the structures if we really want to see more. Hmm, but which structure do we go into? Well, I guess we just pick one and go. So let's come in here. I don't know if there's anything like in the structures themselves. That could be interesting. But so you see this basically just leads us to the top. And from here you could go all around to like the different structures. So like there's a structure, there's a structure. Um, here's a double barrel shotgun. That's something. At least that's a gun. Okay, let's come down this way, I guess. I, I don't really have a rhyme or reason to this, so... Yeah, I'm just wandering around. Um... Let's just follow this one around, I guess. This one looks like a little weird dead end. Oh, look! Free rocket ammo! I like rockets! I feel special! I got rocket ammo now! Okay, that's rocket ammo. What else do we have here? Wait, this is the way I came from. You wanna go up this one? Okay, this leads to some nails. This is some high-rise platform, and this one looks like it might go somewhere back, I'm assuming. No, it just leads to some random cell ammo. There's a lot of ones with just ammo in them. What less guns than I'm thinking? Hmm. Oops, I fell off the platform. Ah, well, this is useful to, like, determine what's over here. This is like a low rise platform. I could have probably drop to it had I realized that was what I was trying to go for, I guess. Um, yeah, a lot of these don't have, like, water in them. 
Seems like the water entrances are on the other side. This is the one we use to enter. And this is the direction we're kind of going in now. It's over here. So yeah, we have a few water entrances on this side. That seems to be about it. So yeah, if you want like water entrances, you need to like start from over here. Alright, so let's come back to this one. This is the one we were at to begin with. What we're going to do is go this way. Since that seems as good logic as any. Here's just another giant pool of water that seems to uh, lead somewhere. <coughs> Convenient. Wait, is there another way out? I'm not sure there's another way, people. This is a central structure, but it doesn't seem to actually um, lead anywhere. It seems to just lead back to where I just was. This is also like really big and confusing, but um, yeah, it looks like there's only one way to go. Which means this is pretty worthless. Oh, okay, there's never mind, there's another way. There is a way, people, and it's this way. We just ignore this path and you come down here instead. And we have this ramp, which leads to some yellow armor hidden in almost total darkness. Thank God for our ability to, like, notice things. Also, it seems like that's going to be another entrance over there. Definitely take note of that one, because it doesn't look like we can enter it, access it from this side. Um, so yeah, we have that one. Then you come over here. This is sleeping over a wide area for some reason. Let's just go. To a total pitch black area. My god, is this one dark. Trying to see if there's anything else that doesn't look like it. Okay, where else do we have to go? Well, we have down there, which we're going to anyway. So you see, these look like pools of water. Let's check the lower one. Oh look, here's a rocket launcher, conveniently thrown in this little pool. So you can like jump to it from the top or whatever you wanted. Then you have down here the Thunderbolt. So here's another one of the guns. So you see this is mostly used for guns in the level, makes sense why I don't have like the nail gun. Or the grenade launcher I guess, because the grenade launcher would be kind of awkward here I guess. Um, but yeah, that seems to be almost everything. There's also here. So what's in here? Oh look, a room with health. This is literally all the health in the level, in one room. That's a bit awkward, but okay. Yeah, th there's the health. Yeah, there's no other water ones as far as I remember. There's the water there. Then you have like the entrance there, the entrance over here. So yeah, that, that's basically the level. Just a little small deathmatch level with a lot of random structures. Um, not that spectacular, but like I said, it has the very unique... Um, Teleport texture all around it. It has a lot of different little obscure things. You use water to like ascend and descend, so it's almost like an unofficial water elevator. People seem to like using those a lot, so it seems like a very common feature to see. Um, like I said, it's not officially a water elevator, that only was a dark hour, but the mindset's very much the same. It's identical. Um, you just use it to go up and down, and yeah, very, very simple level. Oh, look, I can somewhat see through the texture here. This is weird and funky looking. Look at that, my gun's gone! I'm, I'm like totally glitched out over here, people. <laughs> yeah, like I got like slightly too far into the wall, and so it's like my gun's like totally able to disappear into it. Hooray! I, I, I'm breaking the level somehow. But yeah, lots of little visual anomalies. Like I said, it's not like able to handle like the level fully. Um, at least not with like um, DOS Quake. I, I think like Geo Quake will work fine because Geo Quake has better limits. But the original DOS Quake, as you see, it's having like visual graphical issues from like the far side to the far side because it's just one giant area with a lot of faces. Um, these giant open maps usually tend to have that problem. We saw like similar stuff with like Basic Castle and a lot of levels like that. So yeah, no surprise really. Anyway, I said, this is a very basic deathmatch level, not even really anything fancy in the readme file. Um, yeah, this is like where the first level took a little bit of time that doesn't like actually tell you much of anything. Doesn't tell you what was made with, um, anything with it. And because it's a BSP file, I can't really get much information from it anyway. So yeah, I'd rather read tell you climatic, but there we are. Anyway, um, I guess thank you all for watching, people. It's been an adventure, and I guess I shall see you all, well, next time.